All righty. We're live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Triple beats. I know. I'm five, six, seven minutes late. Deepest, deepest apologies. Hope you do stick around. I hope you've been well, Sugar Beats. Look at this production value. I'm floating in Photoshop. It's, uh, we're, uh, we're moving up in quality, people. Eduardo, hey, hey, welcome. Oh, Rick, sheesh. Not sure who the who the sheesh is for. Sugar beet, sorry, I'm here so early. <laughs> all right, you're all good. Uh, fairly, yeah, started a little bit earlier. Couldn't wait. But he uh, wanted to get stuck straight into it. Super excited about this one. Something a little bit different today. Going to be, uh, also, let me know how the audio is as well. Just, I want to make sure that uh, the music isn't drowning out my voice and all that, all that fun technical stuff. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to be sort of just working on a sketch note. So if you're not familiar, I uh, do sketch notes every now and then of what I've learned on particular illustrations. So this one's going to be for the Wednesday illustration. And I'll give you an example here. So I'll just throw up my Instagrams. So for example, let's see how. Let's have a look. Just get me OBS. So, yeah, cool, so you can see that. So, uh, so here, for example, like this Travis Barker sketch note, I'll sort of break down things that I learned, things that I've thought about, um, things that annoyed me, things that I don't think I did as well, and ways that I sort of overcame that, and sort of creating this, uh, this content. So this is why it's sort of called behind the content, because I like, the idea of sharing the sort of business side, the content creation side of things. Um, and yeah, hopefully it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a lot of drawing. So it's not for the, the people that are here just for the art. It's, um, I've, I've got to come up with these ways to explain things. So I've started here a little bit already, uh, just as like uh, some, some quick ideas. So I've got like the anatomy of thing, so we can sort of break all this down and have some fun with that. Uh, let me just get chat up again. My apologies. All righty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Green screen, <laughs> green screen. Oh, you know what? CMG, how you doing my friend? Welcome. Abhishek, happy end of the year. Happy end of the year to you too. So I'll get one in before 2023. Um, Aubrey, uh, enjoying your work. Thank you so much, Aubrey. Welcome. Novian, hi Ben. Greetings from Indonesia. Greetings from Adelaide, Australia. Awesome to have you. And hoping for a uh, happy new year. Thank you, Abhishek. Enthusiast, first time ever I'm going to draw along. Good luck. It's, uh, that's, that's exciting. I hope it turns out well for you. Hope you have a good drawing session. Uh, also, we are getting like a TV talk show intro music. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know if that, uh, okay, so fairly so audio is good, cool. Snowfate, thanks to you, I have improved a lot in my art. Thank you, Ben, that's freaking awesome. Snowfate, uh, and welcome to the stream. All right, uh, will you be saying, will you be selling hats in the future? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe. Who knows? All right, let me uh, a little bit disorganized. 
in the moment, but it's all right. I'm gonna get it working. All right, Let's throw me down the corner. Now this is this music. This song is in the funk playlist. This is somewhat funky, but it's not what I would imagine as funk. So uh, we'll have to have to play around with that. Uh, let's have a look. Just uh, easing into it, sort of still checking out chat. CMG, I'm not ready for 2023, but I'll push through. Uh, it's coming regardless if you're ready or not. Uh, God Patata, hi, welcome. Uh, Rani, it's my first time too, so excited. Welcome, Rani. Welcome, welcome. Clearly, my brain sometimes thinks that it's still in 2020. I know. I know the years just sort of blend into each other. I feel like your logo is hat. You should embrace the. You are the hat. I am the hat. Yeah, this is a. I used to play baseball. And I often times just wear hats just because it's. Uh, I don't know. I just got used to it, right? So, um, yeah, I'm actually overdue for a new one because this is getting all like some uh, sun kissed. All right, so basically, yeah, I'm just going to be working. Feel free to chat. Um, and we're going to have some fun drawing, fun breaking things down, what worked, what didn't. Maybe uh, pop into Blender. To, uh, I'm going to actually experiment in one of the slides because I actually saw, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Corridor Crew. I'm more like a Corridor YouTube channel. I saw in one of their um, sort of real, uh, not real, uh, carousels. But they sort of spliced in uh, just images, but also on like another slide, they did like an animation kind of thing, which I thought was pretty cool. So I might do something here, like I'll write a note just here for like animate All right so I want to show you different uh, examples of sort of like the bounce light just with say like a white plane bouncing up onto a, a sphere what I showed on the actual stream was the uh, the same color bouncing up onto itself and then like different colors here, but sort of as a video, I think would be kind of kind of cool. My philosophy when it comes to content and that kind of stuff is I'm just trying to find the best ways or the, the clearest ways to give as much value as possible. That's like my North Star. If I can um, just sort of fill this, fill my profile with as much information as I can that's like super useful, that's a, that's a win for me. So that's yeah, a win in my books. Watch Bullet Train. I haven't watched Bullet Train, no. Uh, Rick, Core Shadow is a lie. Oh, tell me about it. It is. It is an illusion. Like all this is. All of these are just individual. Like we, we could go to like full philosophy hour. You know, these, these are just individual lines. But are they even lines? Like they're just pixels that are arranged in a certain way to make the illusion of form, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of interesting when you think about it. Like in isolation, none of these lines make any sense. All right, so here, I reckon this will be cool, like the anatomy of the thing, or thing, I don't know if it's, it's the or the thing, or down old when I say that. Uh, also some simple shapes. Right, so I want to break down what I was thinking about with her face. Now looking back on it, actually, I'm not a massive fan of how her face turned out from a likeness perspective. Although it wasn't a focus of mine, I think I could have pushed the likeness a little bit more. Uh, so I might note that down here. This is just going to be super rough to begin with, just getting getting ideas down. Should I 
should have is I just come here to, to draw. Art thought makes my head spin. I have such a hard time listening and understanding. Yeah, well, I've, I've had that in the past as well. Art where just things just sort of go over my head and it sort of just switch off. But over time, things uh, start to make more sense. And then something that didn't make sense a month ago, it kind of, it just sort of clicks. All right, so here I'm thinking, obviously like the hair, what that looks like is, is sort of like forms itself. What am I thinking about? These sort of separate, we can, I'm gonna have some fun trying to like color code these as well to make them clearer. Um, and even thinking about from a content side of things, what would I really, like my younger self, not even just my younger self from like, I was like 15 or whatever, it's like my younger self from like a year ago. What would I find super valuable uh, to be put in here? So I'm kind of like, there's this thing called the Feynman technique, which is essentially uh, like in a nutshell, if you can explain it, a concept to someone, then you have a good understanding of it yourself, or you can clearly see the gaps in your understanding yourself, which is kind of the whole thing about my Instagram, right? And even these lives and everything, I'm getting just as much out of these as I hope that some of you are. Because it just helps me reinforce ideas, helps me learn. So this is what all these, uh, this is all just reinforcement. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting one, like the material interactions. I wanted to show that, okay, how do we make it more interesting? We don't just sort of pop the hand on there. We can think about the, how kind of materials interact with each other. Eduardo, uh, I think I asked this before, but how long have you been drawing? Uh, on and off for most of my life, so I'm 20, uh, 29. But yeah, on and off for most of my life. So if there's a way to kind of even indicate the cloth folds or something, this might not be its whole, <clears throat> its own slide. Uh, and then I thought about like, what would I do different? Like, do I bother with that? Do I? Because there's a lot that I would do different. But how valuable is that from a from a content side of things? I don't know. I might just start cleaning up some of this because I know that this for sure is one that I'm going to like a slide of of a carrot of the Instagram carousel. It's uh, it's going to be a slide. So so it's a bit of a process this whole sketch note business. So I've just copied that. It's not this. Back and let's start cleaning up some of these lines. Right? I'm gonna color this as well. Even more. Is everyone excited for 2023? For me personally, it doesn't make much difference. It's just another day. <laughs> That's how I see it. I don't put too much stock in the whole new year, new me. very squared off fingers that I came in. All right, so this is kind of what I was thinking about when I was drawing the hand, right? How do I simplify these forms down? Now this, this 
hand doesn't look super correct. Feel a lot of tweaking in the near future is going to be needed. These triangle is more, I think, yeah, they're more sort of half, half circle nails. Carry that on, even though we didn't draw the thumb, that's still a thing to, no pun intended, I better pun fully intended, to uh, take into account. I might need to get some reference for this to get there because it's it looking like another bloody finger. That's alright, keep it like that, that was closer. Alright, so then I've got some of this. I want to kind of indicate the stitching. Now I might not go full render, render mode on this stuff. Might be more of a simplified sort of colouring process. Just trying to show that I can, I'm, I'm trying to think about the hand in simplified sort of a, a blueprint form to begin with. silhouette show that there's like indents here where the uh, stitching is going to be gone Sanu, any yay. Not sure what that means. If that was a typo, or if that was. Uh... Yeah, my apologies. I know. You... <laughs> Unfortunately, don't know what you what you mean. Uh, Sugar beets. I'm doing some watercolor today. Fantastic. Zane, you've been killing it on YouTube. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate it, Zane. Um, comparative to others, I wouldn't say killing it, but we're getting started. And I appreciate it. I pre appreciate the calm words, though. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm uh, going to ramp this thing up in the new year. So lots, uh, lots more exciting things to come. I hope you've been doing well, Zane. Alright, so that could be 
the base of the, uh, the band. And this is also, I've got to think about the layout as well, which is another variable to consider when doing some of these sketch notes, right? I've also got to be conscious of where my head is and where I'm drawing. You can, yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. Maybe I'll throw Wednesday. Here. On the left hand side here. And this will feature up. And now I know that I'm going to be in the, uh, the draw zone. Rick Marshall, uh, playlist, uh, it's Epidemic Sound, and I literally just went to the funk playlist, and uh, that's, that's it really. Alright, now I'm thinking about how I simplified the hand, right, so I remember I was thinking about this all in really, really simple shapes, using this as kind of like a blueprint, right, now I might even... Like I'm, it's, I find it actually really fun, this whole trying to explain things, break it down, deconstruct it all. Because I might even do like a, another hand that's just, excuse me, the, uh, the simplified shapes, right? And then to show how that translates into three dimensions in my head, I might sort of color code them to say, okay, here's the, the cylinder of the wrist. Right. Here's the cube or the box of the palm. Right, and then you got all the fingers that you can just simplify down, at least in this view, to, uh, to, yeah, to cylinders. This is fun to me, I don't know, maybe I'm weird. But I love almost like this stuff more than like finished finished pieces. It's just like a it's just a puzzle. It's just a big old puzzle that we're trying to figure out. Klaus! Welcome, welcome. Uh, Zane, finding the fluidity, pun intended, and versatility of watercolor. Wednesday fully rendered looks uh, iconic, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, Zane. Um, I can add graphite and ink on top of watercolor and vice versa without it smearing. That happens with uh, graphite sketches, marker, and colored pen. Ooh, I'd love to start experimenting with some more traditional mediums. not super high on my priority list at the moment but definitely in the, in the future I reckon I'd like to like do this kind of stylized stuff like almost this yeah how could I translate that into traditional mediums it wouldn't be too difficult I don't think because I uh, like none of this or all of this is based in fundamentals and fundamentals cross uh, disciplines and mediums and all that sort of stuff Experiment. Kazillion. Oh, yeah, oh, Kazillion. Uh, you probably get this a lot, but your sense of 3D and good shapes uh, is amazing. Holy guacamole. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, look, it's just a lot of practice. I appreciate the kind words, but yeah, just a lot of, a lot of practice, a lot of drawing and uh, drawing the simplified shapes, breaking things down. Also, learning a little bit of 3D uh, sculpting as well really helped. But no, I appreciate it. Eduardo, uh, I know right, I wonder where he studied that. There's no one real place, it's just uh, I got curious. 
I, I almost really it was like I got frustrated. I was like, enough is enough. I've got to start nailing this. I'm, I'm sick of not knowing why or how things should fit together. Always good to have physical works to store or sell, man. Um, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, ben was actually the first human to have Blender implanted in his head. Can either confirm or deny. Speaking of Blender, I've been like having so much fun sculpting. I might just, because these streams are pretty fluid. There's no like super, at least with this particular one, there's no super strict, um, I don't know, plan, I guess. I might uh, pop into Blender again. I'm just, I'm just having so much fun with that Blade program. Just sculpting and figuring stuff out. Like I was experimenting with getting a kind of um, into the Spider-Verse sort of vibe. Uh, with the, uh, with the colouring on the, on the sculpt the other day and that was good fun. Uh, and this here will just be a diagram to show that, yep, it's literally just cylinders you can start to think of your arrow um eduardo but like did you start learning art on your own yeah i guess like there was no one really pushing me i didn't go to art school I studied um industrial design in university, which I guess could have helped with some of this more three-dimensional way of thinking, but I dropped out after a year, maybe like a year or so, when the drawing, uh, the drawing portion of it stopped. I was just like, all right, I'm out. It's not, it's not fun for me anymore. But it's just like a lot of like online. Like this is because I'm, I find, this is why I like taking notes now. I never used to really do that, but uh, over the last, say, like year and a half, I've been taking a lot of notes of where I hear things from. Like if I hear something on a live stream um, or I hear something in a course or read it in a book or something, I'll note it down and then I'll note where I heard that from. Uh, so then I can go back. I'm kind of like making a big big old directory of my personal takeaways from from like art education because it's it's easy to watch a course right it's easy just to throw on a video and just watch it but it's another to kind of synthesize the information and see if if there's other um other things like other concepts or ways of thinking that you've heard somewhere else that can kind of connect to ideas as well which is why i'll often um, take courses or learn or try and learn outside my discipline which is why i'm going into like the 3d side of things there's so many crossovers with the 3d sculpting and and 2d art like it's just i love just i don't know I just like learning new shit, basically, and figuring out ways to get better at stuff fast. And it's not just with art, not just with art. It's like I thought, I told myself to sort of code, um, do more marketing stuff, like from the sort of content and business side of things, a little bit of the marketing side, uh, video production, even this, like talking in front of the camera that's a, a skill to kind of learn and then I just with any with any skill I, I take that kind of approach I just devour content and see if I can synthesize it through my own understanding or even things that I've learned before kind of make things stick because it's funny like when I started doing uh, uh, like talking in front of a camera oh my god it sounded like I was so bored 
is what I was saying. There's a, there's a particular... You've just got to be conscious of that. Like, not so much in live streams, because they're more conversational. It doesn't really matter. But even, like, with the reels and that kind of thing, you've almost got to, like, jack up the energy a couple more notches than what would normally be. Not being fake, because I, I hate that feeling of being like, hey, welcome to Ben's Drawing Corner. Today we're going to be blah, blah. No, it's like that. But it's just, you just got to jack up the the energy just a tad when it comes to uh, talking on video at least I've found and a lot of other people have said the same anyway I'm rambling this is what you're going to get this is ramble times uh, Uga, uh, Uga hi Ben hope you're well just saying hi welcome back Uga I'm doing well I hope you're doing well as well how many times do I want to say well uh, Zane for sure as long as you're having uh, fun it will all pay off anyway yeah whole thing of this is uh, the, the, I mean, I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't, if I wasn't having fun. All right, so I've, I'm trying to, really, if we want to talk, I guess this is like content talk as well, but it's, I'm trying to set up my life where I can make a living, and like a good living as well. I don't just want to get by from like being able to feed my curiosity if that makes sense like that's the ultimate goal how can I figure out how to make a living while at the same time feeding my curiosity and just always learning new stuff like the business side of stuff fascinates the shit out of me as well like it's yeah it's just all all feeds into one another because yeah which, which is been good good fun so far I don't think I'm going to art school yeah well, that's completely up to you man. Like, I didn't go so but again yeah, I'm just a dude on the internet <laughs> I mean, most, you, you can, I don't know, I've never, again, full transparency, I've not been to art school, so I don't know, 100%. I think it would be fantastic to get taught by some of these teachers in some of these, like, sort of more reputable art schools. It would be sick. Like, I'd love that. Quite honestly, I think most of them have, like, online courses. All right, like... And it's interesting, I've got work from Instagram. I don't have a portfolio. Instagram's my portfolio. Like, like I'm teaching some workshops uh, in the new year for a few places. And it's like, just all through putting my stuff out there. And I didn't go to school for this. I've got imposter syndrome coming out my ass when when I'm doing some of these workshops because I'm just like, shit, I could probably learn more from you guys than you're going to get from me, but it's not the case, apparently, like, it's the, it's more so the work that you put out, how interested are you in it, how can, a lot of it also is, I think, sharing your thinking, I've found, um, how do you think, how do you sort of solve problems, because we're problem solvers at the end of the day. So how do I better articulate this idea? Let's see if I can like make it feel like there's disc. Yeah, that'll make sense. The discs going round in perspective. Maybe it doesn't make mm. Make this make a little bit more sense. I 
Uh, Zane, I think the catch of art school would be the live critique and mentorship versus self-directed. Yeah, 100%. That would be the, the pure benefit that I would think. And also the people that you meet, I guess, as well. Uh, Rick, do you feel your drawings improve from doing 3D 150%? Definitely. Uh, sugar beads, drums too. Yeah, drums too, exactly. You know it, sugar beads, skill set. We were talking about last last stream, skill set. Uh, Rick, jack up the energy, pump it up. Yeah, my energy, come on, pump it up. Uh, Zane, it's not bored energy, it's chilled energy. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'd, I'd much prefer just to be more myself than try and put on a persona. Uh, Sam does the arts, isn't stereotypically hyper like most YouTubers, and he's doing very well, more of a chill, informa informative, soothing vibe for his videos. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, Francis, welcome, welcome to the stream, my friend. Ooh, someone got the green screen out. Someone got a green screen for Christmas. That's, uh, that's what this is. So everyone, give Francis some love. He's my uh, my business partner and very good friend. We do the podcast Make Now Think Later together, which is all about content creation and sort of the business of content. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a blast so far and we're going to ramp it up in 2023. So if you could... Go and give the podcast some love. I think it's great information. So it's not just like a, go check it out just because we've done it. It's us sharing our experiences as we go. Uh, I'll be doing. I'll be talking. We've talked about live streaming, how we how we're finding it, what we thought about it, blah blah blah. Like it goes spans all sorts of topics. It's bloody good fun just chatting because these were conversations that we were just having ourselves. We're like shit, yeah, we should really do something with these. So yeah. Hashtag shameless plug. Cool. Uh, turn it into fun dementals. Zane, I'm gonna have to uh put you in a timeout and chat for that one. That was uh, not accepted. Uh, CMG, sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm very tired. No stress. No stress at all, man. You just chill out. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to indicate what I'm thinking about when I was... Even though that the... the the stitching can be thought of as just like a very quick afterthought. I'm still thinking about the 3D forms, right? The stitching is going to make this sort of pinching. So this is kind of like the, the seam. And these are the sort of wrapping around. Kind of line. So this is like the face level. This is then what I'm splitting it up into in my head. <clears throat> and then here's sort of more the because then you could imagine these stitches wrapping around this kind of cylinder right to make it even easier you could put the start points of where the two stitches would go right. and now they would wrap around the other side Yeah, I'm just trying to f figure out ways, excuse me, how to sort of, yeah, indicate or show my thinking more so, which is fun. It's a fun challenge because I don't always, it's a, it's a different way of thinking on how to show your thinking about stuff. And then sometimes you realize, oh, I'm not actually, I wasn't actually thinking too much about this which then it 
sort of sets you up for next time that you try and do something, you're like, huh, okay, maybe I should think about it like this. I'll think a, li a little bit more about it at least. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, sugar bees, why aren't the dogs here? Because I've closed the door. Uh... Zane, I did enjoy the nifty uh, shelf background, but green screen is hot. Yeah, look, I might, I'm going to swap back and forth between them. It's all going to, we're going to change it up. I do all sorts of stuff. Francis Lee, thank you, Mr. Santa, for the green screen. Yes, thank you, Mr. Santa. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know if I like it, like, if, if, it's, if it's better than the other, but it's cool, like, I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in Photoshop right now, to, like, reach up, and, but then there's, like, a cap to where I can go with it, but you can see, like, if I go really fast, you can see the green screen, yeah, it's just something different, could actually help with YouTube videos, though, because I've got some ideas, YouTube videos that the green screen would come in really handy with. Uh, Alvin, how did uh, you uh, how did you do the colors uh, that looks like 3D with great patience and a lot of airbrushing? Do you like 1000? You and him should definitely collab. 1000, 1000. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. He seems cool. I like his style. Is that the more sort of like graffiti-esque kind of dude? See, I just like the aesthetic of this stuff. Just like the learning, the breaking stuff down. Novian, hi Ben. Uh, do you also inform to your audience about using busy part alongside with the rest part of your drawing? That's a good point. This is something where that would come in handy here. All right? So just in this, like in context of say this crease, this could be like a, a simpler part and then here is more of like a busy it's it's really the stretch and the squash and stretch right that's something that i could have maybe thought more about but you can think i guess you can think about that the the sort of this the cleaner part and the more complex side at a macro and a micro level so you could think of it on this level of the wrist you could also think of it as the whole composition now i think this is lacking a little bit of a more dynamic kind of feel to it it's a little bit stiff which is something i might have changed but i i think that kind of fits with her character as well Let's maybe move I'll make here. Might even get a uh, Francis to hop on one of these streams one day. Or we do that. We we were playing around with that actually having Francis and I, because we just love chatting anyway. If he sort of streams his stuff, I stream my stuff, we connect it together somehow, and we're just chatting about content, the business side of stuff, what we're struggling with, what we could, what we're trying out, things that we found, like I reckon that would be pretty cool. 
This music is getting to music. Oh, oh. Chickens going in the background. What is this? I'm pretty chill. Uh, Barely 1000 render is really good. I'll have to check it out again. I remember watching a YouTube video of his where he actually got characters made. I think that's the last one that I watched of his. Uh, like physical, like toy characters made. Which is pretty cool. I've actually been chatting to uh, Christian Nee. I don't know if any of you are familiar with him from uh, Froko's channel. But uh, I'll be doing a podcast with Christian in the new year. We were even chatting about how to, uh, or exploring the idea of sort of doing like physical things. I've also got this guy from uh, Christmas as well, doing my own version of stuff like that, like study tools, but like physical ones. I reckon would be pretty cool. And it kind of, kind of coincides with me learning 3D as well, which would be good fun. This is pure gold of a content. Thanks for sharing, Ben. No worries, Chris, and welcome. Welcome. I've already said welcome, my apologies. But I don't think I have, but welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, Zane, I think if you did a sketch with your Wednesday final render as a reference, it could go uh, many different ways. I think if you did a sketch with your Wednesday final render as a reference, it could go many. Oh, get you, get you, get you. Um, I think I understand. Actually, Dan, can you expand on that a little bit? I don't, I don't one hundred percent understand what you're saying. Justified mayhem. Stylized art is unmatched in my opinion, and your art makes me want to get creative again. Also, three D uh, is a godsend. That's fantastic. That's awesome to hear. Get creative again. Go. What's stopping you right now? Stop watching the stream. Go and be, or keep the stream on. Keep the stream on and uh, get creative in whatever, which way that, uh, that you like to do. But I uh, appreciate you popping in, Justified. Francis, uh, speaking of which, I've got my stream set up. Set up. Fantastic. I'm keen, man. I'm uh, so keen. Yeah, what the fuck is up with this music? Oh, can't YouTube just sort out? Just like they've got so much money, just pay all the music artists. Just give, just allow us to use any any music. It's so good. Let's swap it up. Let's go hip hop. Give this a chance right so here you can see right i think we can get pretty much get rid of this one yeah you can see the simplified shapes here that i'm trying to play with right. super super simplified shapes and this is kind of this is what i'm thinking about so i'm trying to translate that from here then into this and then from this translate that into this right so these, so in the final with color and everything, this and this will be the same color, this and this will be the same color, and maybe this and this will be the same color. So there's like a, a theme between the two. Uh, is it hard for you to draw cartoon characters? Is your semi-realistic? Is it hard for you to draw cartoon characters? Is your semi-realistic style? 
say something like Professor from Powerpuff Girls. I don't really, haven't really tried, but I don't see why not. It's just a different way of thinking, right? But even some of those uh, really 2D characters, they've got 3D hidden within them, if that makes sense. Like you don't see, it's not super apparent, but there's like logic to a lot of those characters, which is cool. Uh, Zane, the thing tutorial will be helpful since many struggle with hands. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be helpful. Um, Zane was referring to when you said your Wednesday uh, was stiff. Why do go in many different ways? There's just so much improvement. Yeah, yep. So sketching it out and uh, sort of, and that and that's the that's the best thing about understanding the 3D forms, right? Is that you can just rotate them any which way like when we get to this section here where I've got the different shapes I actually want to rotate them in different like see if I can rotate them in my head in different angles to then show that this is how I'm thinking and this is how I'd make adjustments and make things sort of make more sense um, to the, the drawing itself Uh, my cat Loki says hi. Hello, Loki. Uh, he sleeps next to me whenever I do art. Are you boring him? Or is he just a sleepy cat? Uh, Zane, I'm sure if you did a uh, non-35 heavy render, uh, a non-3D uh, non render and just sketchy version, yeah. And that's a, that's a struggle, right? That's a, that's a challenge, is trying to keep the liveliness and dynamics of the line and the character and carry that through into the render and that's where gesture comes in and I've got to do more of that uh, I'm also assuming you haven't watched an episode of Wednesday yet no I have not sugar beets enthusiasts Ever think about getting 3D uh, printed? It might be your new love poison. Uh oh. I'm working uh, in a toy company and 3D printing helps a lot in figuring out shapes. Seeing your sculpt in the real world is something else. Oh, you're reading my mind, Penthusiast. It's uh, those resin printers look pretty freaking sweet. I've, uh, but I've just dropped a whole bunch of cash on my setup here, so I've got to wait a little bit until I think about that but I agree because like stuff like this right the like a the little little head my parents got me this shout out mum and dad love you um and Courtney my sister they got me this one uh, for Christmas but having yeah having this in real life is super helpful and I'd love to just sculpt like stylized stuff or even real stuff and just sort of print it out and have it physically here like it's a there's just like that extra step of satisfaction taking it from the screen and and sort of having it in, in real life so you know enthusiast i've thought a lot about it and it would definitely be as you said my new love poison <laughs> Like redraw your Wednesday in a comic style. Yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Just try different styles. That'd be good. Clarence, hello my friend, welcome. Black Jam, Ben, stop watching the stream. Me, yes, no. Wait, what are you saying? Yeah, I know. Uh, when I said that, uh, keep it, keep it in the background. Do it for the algorithm. Do us a favor. Keep it in the background. But if you're feeling inspired, buddy, just go and do it. What's stopping you? Get a get a kickstart on the 2023, babe. Just, uh, just go for it. Uh, watch 10 minutes of it, but is it even worth it if I'm just going to watch 10 minutes of it? Dasco Draws. Wednesday was good. I have a low tolerance for modern media. Ooh, that's a, that's a, that's high price. It'll help my art. Oh, I don't know. I think that's a trap. Watch more stuff and it will help my art. Zane, I think of your final pieces uh, the same as you would live art models. There's a lot to sketch from. Yeah, I'll get you. Yeah, Zane, definitely. And as I said, when we get to the 3D part of sort of moving these shapes around, 
we'll probably just jump over to that in a sec actually is here with the layout i've got to think about some like little annotation things here how i'm going to supplement the visuals to make it make more sense right so and then what i'll do is i'll take this into something called indesign which is a layout like adobe's sort of it's just another app that adobe has for more print media and like ebooks and pdfs and that kind of thing it's what i like made the, my pdf in but it actually helps a lot um with layout design so there's that process that I'll take it through. But basically I'll get all the images done here and then bring it into InDesign. We'll have some fun with it there as well. Uh, hi mum and dad and Courtney. Well I wonder I don't know if, I don't know if they're watching but they might watch it back. Have a bit of a giggle. Uh, Dasko I have a small Asaro head I 3D printed. See that's cool. That's cool man. Like it's it's so cool you can just I'll just make an Asari head and just print it. That's sick. Devonta, what's up, Ben? Hope you're well. I'm doing well, my friend. Welcome. Great to have you. Uh, CMG, what genre of media do you like? Media depends. Depends. Like with most things, it depends. What am I what am I consuming? Is it educational content? Is it entertainment? Those are my, I guess, two main ways of consuming content from education side i think i've got to i've got to i've got to talk and draw i'm just i'm just zooming in and out at the moment doing fuck all so let's uh let's continue on with this but i'll try i'll, I'll answer that question as i go so uh, uh, actually uh, uh, uh. cool 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 all right here we go now I used to actually, okay, tangent time. I used to make these seamless, right? So the way to make this seamless, it's a freaking pain in the ass to export all of them individually. Um, and I don't think we'll get to that today. We might get to that in a, in a later stream. But I used to do them seamless because they looked really cool in a carousel, but I'm trying to be more efficient with my content creation and having them in separate slides allows me to post them out elsewhere um, like Twitter it's like a Twitter uh, like a like a Twitter thread which tend to do pretty well and uh, where else and I'm even thinking about putting it on my website as well benedlin.com I've only mentioned it on stream I haven't mentioned it anywhere have a look here okay so we've got this let's we've got our reference over here so we don't need her clogging up the view all right so the eyeball oh so what was i what was i media media uh, education i like the feeling of watching courses but i find the most efficiency in written content and coding actually helped me out with that a lot right because when i first started to learn how to code i was just copying youtube tutorials which i think there's a lot of parallels with art with that as well so i would copy the code they would write code i would write code they would write code i would write code and then at the end of it i would have written a program or a little app or whatever but the understanding wasn't there as much. Like I was just a good copier there for a little while, which I think is necessary at some stage, like at the, at the beginning, right? But then if I had a question about something or I wasn't sure because I was so tied to the video, I, find, I found it hard to go back to the section that sort of resonated like, it's there was like key points like you have chapters now on youtube which is cool but you didn't back when i was learning how to code um 
and there was like key points that I would try and find and go back to, but it was just a pain in the ass. With code, once you get to a certain point where you understand the kind of fundamentals and the ideas, it's better just to go straight to the documentation and the written content. And I, same for art as well. I will just go straight to say like a, an anatomy book for reference, or like a, I'll get someone's art and I'll try and break that down, or I'll just go instead of, um, I, st I still like watching courses, so it's not one or the other, it's just different. It's like written's efficiency, more, more efficient at least, but I think that's at stages. I needed to go through the course, the more video sort of course kind of stuff as well, I think. But anyway, I'm rambling. Welcome to stream. It's a ramble, ramble Saturdays. Watch 10 minutes, I will annoy you. All right, you can, okay. Look, for you sugar beets, I will watch 10 minutes. There you go. No more. Uh, Micro, will you try to learn sculpting on Blender and ZBrush? Yes, Blender in particular. I've already, I've already started uh, playing around with it. So much fun, absolutely love it. All right, so here you've got like the different views of, so I've got the nose here, right? Ben has to consume Wednesday. Okay, that's a bit weird, would it be? Uh, Justify, chat's getting dark. Tangent time with Ben. Yeah, I want to do like an animation, just like tangent time. Personally, if I had to recommend a show, I'd pick Arcane. Love that one. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. I actually started to watch a little bit of that. Um, I just don't have a lot of time for watching things uh, as of late. All right, so here, I'm trying to think of, okay, the eye. The eye is a sphere, right? Even in this stylized form, the eye is a sphere. And I'm going to turn on smoothing because I'm going to cheat. Okay, who knows it? Ta da! Now, if you're, you say, now, if you're, say, Zane, you should see the Pokemon that I'd be like, I got it covered. All the Pokemon content has been consumed. <laughs> I'm a Snorlax. <laughs> uh, Pokemon was a freaking jam when I was younger. That's actually, I would just sit and draw Pokemon cards. Uh, Penthesius, resin printer is smooth and all, all that jazz, but it can be frustrating for a start. A plastic filament printer is way easier to manage, especially if you don't print routinely. Cheaper too. Good call, Penthesius. I think my uh, my need for smoothness will outweigh the frustration. I can learn it. I'll, I'll figure it out. But, uh, but no, I appreciate the input. Sugar beets, yes, yes. I never said when though. We could be here two years from now. And uh, yeah, I'll do it eventually. Boha, the color blends uh, is so good. Appreciate it. Thank you. CMG, wait, it's that easy? Watch 10 minutes of um, watch glass onion. <laughs> Look guys, give me to watch all this stuff. I'm not gonna have time to make the content or do the drawings. Just gonna be sitting watching shows. Santiago, how do you practice and study rendering? It's a 
very broad question. But oftentimes uh, I can, there's a lot of ways you can. You can do it the more kind of technical way where you can crack open something like Blender and you can come in and create a sphere and light it in all different ways with different light sources and different reflected lights and all that kind of stuff and then study that and you can actually see why things are happening that's a, a very efficient way i think to to learn how to render uh, another way is looking at the real world trying to replicate materials um, and also try and understand why stuff's happening why why is the light reacting a certain way there's three key parts that sort of when i understood those three key parts i think it's three is when it kind of unlocked in my head the whole rendering thing and i haven't i've not nailed it yet i don't think i'm always going to be learning and adding sort of tools to my tool belt or skills to my skill set should be um but it's you've kind of got like something called lambertian reflection which sounds all fancy. So you've got Lambertian, which is basically matte, right? Like a matte finish. Then you've got, I guess it's two, two main things. We'll simplify it down even more. And then you've got specular highlights or specular reflection. Right. Now I think about these two things independent of, of, of one another, right? So I'm not going to go into a lesson right now, but that's a good start. Do some research on that, Lambertian map reflections and what they are and specular reflections and why they happen on different materials. Uh, Imani, yay, another stream for me to work on portfolio work too. Hi everyone, welcome Imani, great to have you. Hope the portfolio work's going well. Uh, sugar beets, bullet train is better than glass. <laughs> Chat trying to turn this into a React channel, imagine. Uh, ben reacts to Australian food. Yeah, and you know what that's going to be? I have no reaction because it's what I'm used to. Define Australian food. What's is, what's Australian food? I can't even think. It's like different. We take we take a lot of stuff from uh, America. But I think we, if I'm not mistaken, in America, do you guys have McCafe? Like from a McDonald's standpoint, I think we invented the McCafe. No lie, Google that. Double check that. Jamie, pull that up. All right. So I'm going to use this as a as an explanation of where the eye loop is going to go because right, it should logically be the same it's more or less the same might have to fudge it a little bit to get it looking exactly right because i haven't the sphere 100 percent thing on or whatever but yeah, something like that that'll do now, if we erase that a little bit. Right, so this is the wireframe it a little. Let me throw in. Uh, 
Uh, Baha, maybe you should try fix my followers art. Sounds good uh, to be true. <laughs> I don't like the idea of that, like the idea of like fixing people's art because you're you're at the, the place that you're at. But it, I guess it's like could be like a critique kind of thing, or what I would do differently, or things that I would recommend uh, kind of working on. But the whole fixing someone's art, I reckon. Is I don't know, I don't like the idea of that. Unless they ask for it. But then I wouldn't I wouldn't frame it as fixing. It would be more of a try this out. See if that works for you because Uh, Raj, watch the third one. Oh, with the rendering. Um, I was gonna say like, well, those are the two reflections that are the most interesting to me. You've got other stuff like shadows. So there's really more than three, like uh, three, don't worry about three. You have, you've got things like the form shadow, the core shadow. You've got the reflected light. You've got the matte light. You've also got something called Fresnel which is interesting but we'll save that for another stream because that goes pretty deep uh santiago thanks uh, what did i did i do something oh yeah no worries santiago sorry i was just seeing, getting context on what you're thinking for um sugar beets i don't know don't eat mcdonald's but i'm sure they do have it here yeah well you're welcome America. Zane, from a very uneducated point of view, Australia has a lot of uh, USA parallels. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, we've just got like in Adelaide, we've just started to get Carl's Jr. here. And I went to America when I was like 14. And I've never seen a Carl's Jr. in my life. The burgers were freaking massive. I couldn't believe it. And now we've got Carl's Jr. here. So it's like, it's all, we are like America's little brother. So this is kind of like a side view, three quarter of the nose, let's say. So it's a little bit hard to see. Let's have a look at the lips, right? But that, this can be our blueprint. Not this back. CMG, Benji, have any pets? If not, what pet would you want? Okay, so I've uh, kind of inherited some pets from my partner. You've got three Shih Tzus. Little Shih Tzu puppy. Well, they're not puppies anymore. They're a bit, they're getting on their age, but. Three little Shih Tzus, Coco, Winnie, and Ollie. Coco is crazy, and I believe she has uh, serious mental health issues. Because she'll, uh, she'll ask you for pats, and then when you start to pat her, she'll growl at you. And then when you stop patting, she'll be like, oh, please, give me more pats. And you're like, fine, I'll give you more pat, and then she'll start growling. So yeah, she got, so she, she's pretty messed up in the head, so I don't know what's going on with her. But uh, then we've got Ollie, which is he, he's, he's very, very intelligent little, little pup. And Winnie, he's a, he's just a big old chunky boy, but he's lovely. So yeah, those are the pets at the moment. So if we use this, and you see I'm not being like too literal with being exactly right with it. It's more to illustrate an idea rather than be super. But I wouldn't mind actually showing some of this, like the, 
is that the jowls I guess like this sort of muscle underneath here I'm thinking about that enthusiast having spent one year in Melbourne I would say the most Australian food is the almighty uh, Marmite oh that's where you're incorrect my friend Marmite is I believe British Vegemite is the Australian version of Marmite they're very different I don't know maybe not to the uh, to the unexperienced palate but Vegemite is very different to Marmite it's not something I have very often though Vegemite it's not something I would get in my shopping Intans for Australian. I mean, you can't get more Australian than sort of eating kangaroo. You'll enjoy. Kangaroo is very nice. It's one of the best meats you can actually eat. Like, because they're not, you can't farm them. Uh, kangaroos aren't farmed. So, yeah, very. Very good for you. I think we're the only place that actually eats our national animal as well, which is weird. Fun facts. All right, enthusiast. Sadly, I've got to go now. I hope everyone has a fun, uh, have fun, and see you all in 2023. Catch you later, enthusiast. See you in 2023. You have a great one. Uh, Black Jam, can we please stop the fixing of another person's art? Yeah, I don't like it. it. Doesn't. If someone's asking for a critique, definitely. Constructive criticism, if they're asking for it, 100%. If you're going, oh, this is like unsolicited. Like, I don't care about me. Like, people do that all the time with me. They'll mention, like, oh, this should have done been this way and this way. I could give two shits about that. Um, but. My concern is for people like sharing their art that are a little bit more sort of hesitant and like, or like maybe feeling a little bit more vulnerable about their work. And you have some fuck nut that decides to give you a critique, like an unsolicited critique on a comment or whatever. And she's like, who the fuck are you? Like, I don't know. It just rubs me out the wrong way. Not for me. Again, personally, I couldn't give a shit. Like, it's, I appreciate the comment, and oftentimes I don't disagree with what they're saying, but it's just I'm concerned for some people that... Uh, the, the people think that that's, like, an acceptable kind of thing. I don't know. I'm making the tea sugar beads for her. Yeah, the critique sounds uh, better than fixing. I'm sorry for my. Oh no, all good for her. All good, all good. No, that was uh, just me again going off on tangents. Um, do you know Ruel? No, I don't. Uh, maybe you're not petting. Maybe you're not petting her right. I wish the dogs had a cameo on the live stream today. Maybe. You never know. You never know. Uh, oh, poor, poor kangaroos here. I know. I see them do. Yeah, the people don't mean any harm by it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm conflicted because I know they don't. Like, oftentimes they don't. That's why I don't. It doesn't bother me. Um, if they mention something. Because as I said, sometimes they're bang on. They're correct. And it's something that I've thought about with the, with the piece or whatever. I'm just not super attached to my work in that way. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but it's sort of, I'm kind of just like, cool, on to the next one. But yeah, I am concerned with uh, people, people can take things differently, I guess. And I'm all about people like sharing their work and that could really turn someone off. Particularly through, if it's like a comment, it's hard to get nuance with like intonation or how you're saying things 
Because um, I could say like, uh, the shading on this, like well, I could just write in a text like, the shading on this doesn't look correct. Um, try doing it. Try, uh, try actually thinking about where the light source is. Right? That sounds pretty harsh, but if I'm like, hmm, yeah, look, from my opinion, like, the, it's looking good, but the shading on this just isn't looking correct, and I'll tell you why. One of the things that actually helped me is to really think about the light source and how it um, sort of rakes across the form and the, the planes and how they just, so there's like more context you can put and you can say it in a certain way that's not gonna, it's more constructive. There's only so much you can do in text as well. So again, I don't blame the people that are, people are gonna, it's one of the things you gotta deal with if you uh, put, put stuff online. But yeah, it, um, but some of them do come off very like high and mighty. Like they're the fucking, like I should apologize for the mistake that I made. And those people can go fuck themselves personally. <laughs> I couldn't give a shit. But again, it doesn't, I'm more concerned about people who are actually could affect them from post or stop them from posting. I feel like that's the norm. Uh, unfortunately, being mean is like some channels gimmick. Cough, Ethan Becker cough. No, he's not. Ethan Becker's fantastic. It's a character. He's great. It's not like if you read between the lines with his stuff, if you do it, that's the thing. He's he's a very intelligent bloke. He knows how to, how to ride that line. And it's entertaining, right? And that's how he's blown up. There's a way... It, it's a character. It's It's funny. It's not being mean, and I'm sure he actually asked permission for the people that he, he um, sort of critiques or they're on his Discord or something. So that's like a completely different uh, thing, in my opinion. I, I, I reckon Ethan's funny as hell. Uh, very clickbait. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like Ethan stuff. Uh, Sugar Beast, would you ever plan on doing a draw this in your style challenge? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've not planned one, but it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, CMG. Yeah, it's so hard to tell uh, someone's tone through text. Yeah, you've got to really try and make sure that you don't come across as a certain what. A certain way when you're when you're messaging through text which again is why I don't I'm, I'm not too stressed about if someone critique away the internet is open it's free free speech do do what you're gonna do as long as it's respectful that's all that's all I ask It's so crazy interesting. I've noticed how people critique your art and your comments on Instagram. I feel like people should respect artists like leaving negative things. Uh, not a fan. Yeah, comes with the territory. It used to bother me a little bit because I'm like, what the f like? But then you don't know the context, right? If you if you you sit back and particularly if it's like a, a negative comment, right? That is just clear like plainly negative right people other people said this shit this is nothing new but you've got to think like where are they at in their lives in their head where are their heads at to actually spend the time and energy to write a negative i just can't even imagine 
one, being bothered to write a negative comment, but two, spend the time to go write it and I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. So in a sense of like, have some empathy for them because you don't know their situation. They, I mean, there could be mental health issues that are involved in that. You don't know the person, you don't know their age, you don't know anything about them. So, nor should you hold any stock in what they say um, if it's not respectful, you know? At least that's the way I think of it. We need tone to speech. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> Uh, you think you're so big, you think you're so... <laughs> yeah, that's good. CMG, Ethan said I'm stupid. I'm sure he said it in jest. I don't think he meant it. Uh, Justify, you can see it in his eyes. Ethan's a good dude and means... Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, I've even seen him break character on his YouTube videos and he had to explain to people that it's a character. I'm like, you fucking kidding me? And then at the end, he turned into his character again, which is great. It's... it's yeah, he's, he's funny, man. Dwakesh, hey Ben, good to see you again. Dwakesh, welcome my friend. The, uh, my zebra, uh, not zebra, uh, my blender, my blender guru. Zane, true, it was just, uh, uh, true, it was just a first impression. Yeah, if, if you're not used to it, you're like, oh, okay, this is, this is what they're about. But yeah, then you get, to, get used to it and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. All right, let's see if we can do the side view. Loki, welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. Uh, Furley, I just think that mean troll person on the internet is just teenagers and it helped me to be more chill. Yeah, fairly, exactly. You don't know who they are. You got no idea. I mean, they could be 50, but they could be fucking miserable, right? So really not worth, not worth the energy to be, to be worrying about it. Like if I would if if I wouldn't want to hang out with them in real life, like why should I put any stock into what they're saying online? Because I wouldn't want to hang out with someone that takes the time to write negative shit online. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Alright, so now I'm doing the side view. So here I'm just doing different examples of the three-dimensional shapes of her face and what I was thinking about. And this is where like the 3D um, tools come in super handy. I wouldn't have even really, like you can get here where you can just do it from your head, but even just doing a little bit more sculpting helps me out so much just with like turning these things in my head. Uh, Zane, one theory I've built, those that spend effort to bring others down don't have much in themselves. Yeah. Uh, it's a good good mantra. Dwakesh, happy new year. Happy new year, Dwakesh. Uh, Sugar Beats, I just don't watch a lot of art YouTubers uh, because they are too loud for me. We've got a, you've got a volume slider on, uh, on the YouTube video, you know, Sugar Beats, so then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't know what you're saying there, Sugar Beats.
uh, fairly, or you watch uh, the wrong art YouTuber. Yeah, there's so many out there. Just get pick the ones you like and stick with them. Uh, Raina. Raina, Amy. Oh, I got this wrong the other day. Rain Amelia, I think. Rain Amelia Art. Hey, Ben, what's your New Year's resolution? Welcome. Um, I don't really believe in them very much. So I don't really have what, like a resolution, but. I'm going to be uh, focusing uh, on building this YouTube channel. And it's not like I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I just think, why why wait to the new year? Like, it would have been easy for me to say, my New Year's resolution is to start YouTubing in the new year. And I wouldn't have had, like, what? Six, seven live streams out already. I just decided, fuck it. Put the streams out and go for it now. I could have easily taken that route and just waited for, for the for the new year to roll roll around. But um, yeah, I, I guess like more business goals, collaborating with more people. So I've got a, got a few collaborations coming up in the new year, which will be cool. And yeah, just trying to grow the business, grow the. Uh, the different channels like Instagram, YouTube, and really like figure out um, how to grow uh, Make Now Think Later, like the podcast. It's going to be an exciting one. The times my uh, my TikToks go viral is when everyone is hating my art. <laughs> I draw wide set eyes a lot or big foreheads because I like to. Fucking sugar beets. Who cares? And of those ones that go viral, of the, the only people that you're hearing from are the people in the comments. Right? You think about how many things that you like that you don't necessarily comment on. So that, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, CMG, I kind of watch smaller art channels. I just enjoy the few I watch. Yeah, you just got to pick the people that sort of resonate with you. Uh, justified, live streams are where it's at for me. Love how relaxing it is and usually get great insights from professionals. Yeah, I've got I've to pop into more live streams. I don't do it enough. Nartha Chan, a tips for drawing a nose from a side angle. Simplify it down into its, into its basic shape, right? So here I've got this, you can think about this nose as a box. A bit of a curve, let's say. Which is simple, like really simplifying this down. All right, and then you've got another little box that's sort of sitting on top here. All right. So that could be our base nose shape. All right, and we've got the nostrils and the so, then we've got to try and think about rotating this in our mind to say, okay, if we were looking at it from this angle, what would we see? Well, we would see something like this. Right. Something like that. Might be a different angle, like at a different angle, might not be as sort of up pointed. It all depends on the nose. But really, it's, for me, it's breaking it down into its smallest shapes, its uh, simplest shapes, sorry. I'm trying to figure out them in different uh, views. All right, so here I got the nose that's sort of connected to that cylinder, or where the corner of the eyes are. We've got the, the glabella, 
which is this part here. And all this understanding this stuff in 3D helps me render more in 3D. like a hat I don't know how to reply to people Clarence oh, I just realized you've got a transparent background in it <laughs> yep we uh we've got the old green screen Clarence is your YouTube monetized yet yeah only a couple of days ago it actually got monetized which is a, a surprise I thought it was going to take me months to, uh, for that to happen so yes thank you to all of you that uh we hit the threshold of I believe it was a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours and the live streams help out with that 150 million percent so thank you very very much zane ben follows everyday resolution that's right warn uh hello happy new year in advance uh, happy to be back happy to have you again happy new year to you sugar beets can we ask any questions that aren't art related? You can ask any questions that you want. Go for it. Whether I answer them, that's another question. See, this, this, this mouth here almost reminds me more of Jenna, like the actress, versus the one that I've got here, but Zane, uh, commercial art can easily become anti-art when it uh, ruins an artist's passion trying to make others happy. The sweet, the sweet spot would be, I love this and others love it too. That's the goal, right? That is the goal. Uh, Dwarkesh, hey Ben, I'm currently following your process to, to create an old dude with a big smile. I'm facing an issue with how fat tissues gather around the eyes and stylizing the same. Hope you can cover that too. Yeah, for it, it really depends, right? It's all about the simplification. So even the sort of eye bags of her. Come on, boys. So yeah. Even these are bad. We can simplify that down to literally like half or well, this kind of shape. And then we can even wireframe that out. I don't think these are actually, I think I over exaggerated these a little bit too much. But just for clarity, just for clarity. All right, so that would be the bottom eyelid edge there so breaking that down into that kind of shape and wireframing it and if his eye bags or the old old person's eye bags are bigger then you might make him even more like super sort of saggy and the eyes are here i don't know i've got no idea what the reference is might be like different folds all right so you could go as crazy as you want with it but the the name of the game is simplifying the shapes down which is easier said than done tristiano i hope you're having a great afternoon ben i am it's uh having some good fun drawing with you all i hope you're doing well and welcome to the screen Zane, Ben, when I asked how big is Jazza in Australia, and Ben said maybe he's like six foot, I don't know. That actually got me to laugh. We've got uh, vintage moments already. <laughs> uh, I need someone to make like a clips channel. J 
Justified. Thanks, Ben, for the stream. I've got to catch some sleep, so good night. Catch you later, Justified. Appreciate you popping past. You have a good sleep. Then maybe we should look actually at the, the face shape as a whole, maybe. No, maybe this is like the shapes of red. Sounds like a movie or like some indie band. The Shapes of Wednesday. These are all just ideas at the moment. Some of them will make the cut, some of them won't. Jay, welcome, welcome. Hey brother, couldn't catch your last few live streams. Very busy over the Christmas holidays, but i uh, still been watching your lives on 2X when I can. <laughs> nice, that's what I do. Uh, the digital painting fun times have been helpful. Awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, they're good fun, those ones. It's all well and good just drawing features, but I show them in context of the face. And it's good just to start this, at least what I like to do is start this and do it over a couple of days, not like one super long session and then sort of knock it out and post it. Because I'll have ideas as I go. draw this over um, maybe the other way I think it will fit here maybe
Bestiano possible to quickly show some quick how to draw hair samples. We've got a, uh, a hair section coming up in a little bit. That would be a good, good time to do that. So yeah, hopefully we'll get there. Now another thing with the jaw as well, what I'll often accidentally do is just throw a straight line down here. But in reality, if we're looking at this head from straight on, that's not a bad idea actually to show what the head might look like just straight on. Alright, so we put in say like the brow line. Throw in where the nose might be. Right, so this jaw is actually going to come in. Cheekbones, and down here, this jaw is coming in, right? So then we've got to take that into account. Uh, take that into account here. So if this jaw is here, it's not going to be a straight line coming down. It's actually going to follow. Sort of coming inwards. All right, so we're going to take that into account as well because that could actually make her look more masculine doing it that way. So we don't want to have to have like a square jaw and turn her into like a sergeant or whatever. In the harmony, can quickly. So this is why like shapes are pretty important as well. Keep that, that into account, keep that in check. And I'm also with this stuff, I'm trying to keep it visually, appeal uh, visually appealing as well. I think there's a nice balance between educational and, and fun. Someone quick trademark shapes of Wednesday. <laughs> I feel like that could be like Jenna's memoir at some stage.
Rishi, what would be your tips on improving a peel of shapes or a peel in general? Iterations, you've been a great source of inspiration from the day I found you on Insta. Thank you so much. Love from India. Thank you so much, Rishi. That means a lot. Um, shape, uh, it's it's really trying to break down the people that inspire you. What gets you excited? What sort of shapes do you like? And then trying to figure out in what scenarios do others use those shapes? And doing a bunch of experiments and as you said, iteration. Right, instead of these eye shapes, maybe I might try another eye shape, a rounder eye shape. You can start to see where uh, others solve different problems differently with different shapes. How many times do I want to say different? Oh, Zane, you absolute legend, my friend. I forgot that I even turned that on. Really, really appreciate it, man. Raj, love from India. Thank you so much, Raj. Love from Australia. I love the positive vibes in this chat. of what I've done here, but front on. Nose is a little bit big here. Just do a bit of the old lasso tool surgery. Shabang. Even things like uh, like this here, I could really kind of mess it, not mess it up, but accentuate that bottom, bottom part a little bit too much. So I'm trying to see where I can indicate it and not be so explicit with the 
sort of shape. So I decided to throw in a line for the crease of the uh, chin and then sort of follow that down and back around. front view, we're going to be perspective happening. Uh, Clarence, I feel like we need an icebreaker in the Discord server. It's kind of quiet, but yeah, I've not been in there. That's, I guess, could be a resolution if there is one to be, because uh, I just, I just open that up, for people to start chatting uh, and sort of sharing and and that kind of good stuff. But I'll be in there a lot more in 2023. That's for sure. where like challenges and bits and pieces will will be good to sort of live I guess exercise as well if you draw on a character or something in three-quarter view see if you can draw it in front view and then see then you can, if you can translate that into side view or profile view to be more accurate Then I can use this. So, no. I can use this as a base, as like a simplified version. But then all these shapes just simple really really simple all right so then they'll map to each of these sort of examples Keeps the interest, gives it context as well. Context is a huge thing I found. You can draw things in isolation, and this is how I was thinking about this, and blah blah blah. But if there's no context, it kind of just like oh, doesn't make any sense.
can even cylindrically fire these. Uh, whatever it is called, these plats. into its own really geometric 3D shape. This is so cool because this is how like the sculpting starts off, right? Almost exactly how I'm thinking about all of this when the sculpting starts is getting these really simple, simple shapes blocked in. That's a cool idea. Um, and as we come back up here, I'll show you these shapes. So this is going to be maybe a tricky one. See how I've cut into that uh, that profile here. So I've really cut into that. Because that's what makes sense. So this cheekbone is coming in here, it's got a map back to there. It's not gonna come out all the way up here. But it's gonna come back around the other side of the head.
Tudo bem, Alex? Tá bom. Another thing I find that I do as well, this plane here, I oftentimes don't put it into the correct perspective. Like this feels more correct, right? Versus it sort of being more out this way. So if we're thinking about that from a cylindrical standpoint, this, if we think of that plane as a cylinder, this feels more correct than if it was sort of facing us more so. That's another thing to sort of look out for. So I'm going to raise this, push it back in space a little bit more. So now it sits a little bit more three-dimensionally. Very nice. Uh, you switched to digital. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun as well. You're doing your watercolor, now you're popping over to digital. Same deal with the ears that I'm thinking about here. Because you don't even really see the ears, but I want to show everything like for the outer head. And the ears might actually sit. It's feeling right. Ish. Quite enough. We can colour these all in. And make them look good later. That's cool, that's feeling, feeling fun. All right, I might uh, take a bit of a break, get a little bit of a top up, the old prepare there. Shameless plug. Go for it, sugar beats. Keep the chat entertained. All right. Catch you in uh, what five minutes?
Actually, i tell you something I've been doing recently. I've uh, been playing a bit of the old uh, Fortnite with a couple of mates. That's been good fun. I haven't played that in a very long time, but now I've got my new setup. I can actually play it. Good fun. Yeah, I really need to start taking more breaks, I'll tell you what. Uh. Nice. Post, please. Post, please. What do you mean, post? Oh, you're talking to sugar beads. My bad, my bad. I am back. I'm back. And you are joining me on the creation of the Wednesday Adams sketch night. Zane, breaks are golden, aren't they? Drawings are like a schematic for building an Android now. I know, right? That's what they kind of feel like. I like it that way. Almost like an assembly manual. So these are going to be sort of color coded, I reckon.
part the struggle with these is trying to get them like the layout to feel right. a bit of that lately. That's one thing I have been watching is a community. Right before bed. All right, what else do I have here? Bounce light. All right, this could be an interesting one. Let's, let's get some... Um, I think this is where we can... Crack open Blender and get some at least screenshots of what I'm after. I was thinking, oh, I want to animate this slide to, uh, to make it a little bit, bit more interesting. So let's maybe. This thing about this whole thing is like I'm never going to run out of content because I'm I want to always push myself to learn new stuff to try different styles and sort of try new things so it's like forever learning extravaganza is that oh my god community reference cool 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 <laughs> the old I was thinking about even drawing them like doing uh because I've also been watching I tell you that I've not been watching much but actually in this break I've been watching a fair bit with my partner we've been uh watching Shit's Creek that's been really that makes me giggle that show that show particularly Moira and David those two just make me get them. No good chemicals in there. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see if we can split screen this. Let's come here now. We're going to use the power of screenshots. All right, so what I want to do here, I want to do that. is a content mine. <laughs> That's a goal, right? But I don't want it to make it feel like a job. That's the last thing I want to do. So I'm just sharing in the tech space. It's called sharing with the garage door or building with the garage door open. So I'm sharing the business side of stuff, the content side, the, the art side. It's all just a Big old pile of sharing. Yeah, love the actor from American Pie. Big eyebrows, man. Sorry if we got actor and his son. So funny. Yeah, oh, what's his name? I know their character's name, Johnny and David. Let's see. Yeah, I can't remember. But yes, I was thinking exactly that. Just the big eyebrows. I reckon I could do it from memory. So what am I trying to do here? All right, get rid of the default cube, toodaloo. Let's plane it out. And we scale him up. 
That's object mode. Go bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. All right, so let's also rotate on the Y axis. Let's come here and go. Eugene Levy. Yep, good one. Good call. Good call. All right, so we come here, solidify this guy. Cool. So that's that's one of our shapes that I want to work on. Then another will come and create the cube that we just deleted. Uh, actually, I want to go out of edit mode, go to object mode, add kid, move it over here, come here. I want to subdivision that guy. Up, up. Up, yeah, about that, that'll do. So now this is going to be, and I also want a plane. So I want to go add a plane. Thanks, Googs. Give the old Goog. I don't know if any of you watch uh, Joe Rogan's podcast or know of. Oh, he's a comedian. What's his name? He's hilarious. I love him. He's very dry. Very dry sense of humor. Uh, Mark Norman. Mark Norman, yeah. He, I love it when he's on, on Joe Rogan. He's like, give it a go, J-Mo. That gets me into it. All right, so this is going to be indicating the bounce light. All right, so this, we're going to need materials for this. And we're going to need to go into some form of render mode here. So this material. I want to show that it bounces up on top of itself. So we're going to need to do cycles. I could turn in with EV, but I can't be bothered. So here, so this is showing the saturation that I was talking about. I think these should actually be further away from each other. So this one comes here. Move over here. Oh no, I've lost Photoshop. What are we doing? What are we doing? Ah! All right, so now maybe we spotlight this guy, spotlight, shine him down. So then that saturation's there. Then we can grab another spotlight, do the same thing over here. So it's not going to interfere with the other one. We can just go straight down here. Can we use the same material so that this material is just a white material with his name of white. I like talking this out loud actually. It's healthy. We can make this rough a bit less rough so we can get the, the reflections tanking, get that shine on there. Cristiano, Joe Rogan, only podcast I can stand watching. Really enjoy the scientists, etc. that go on. Very interesting. Yeah. Some of his guests are fantastic. 
I also love the ones where they just get absolutely fucked up and just start talking shit as well. Those ones are funny. Maybe we don't know. we keep the roughness about there and we can show the reflected light on that one. And then I'm gonna to wanna to change the base color of this to show that Yeah, check this out. See this this still gets me like so interested, right? Check it. We've got the reflected light. The this is going to pick up to let's change the light source to maybe Maybe that's what's missing from it. There we go. Make it a little bit more diffuse. So this is going to pick up the reflected light, because this is becoming a light source itself, right? So this is going to pick up just a little bit of that, that blue. It's going to mix with the, the red-orange. It's going to turn into a kind of a purple. Then if we turn in this, if this turns to more of a yellow, it's going to reflect more of a yellow. If it turns to more of a purple, it's going to be more of a purple. So it's going to take on the color of, of the reflected light. So that's kind of what I'm trying to, uh, to explain. Try your nubbin in the morning. Uh, Rogan's best trait is his uh, aliens, man. They're here mentality. <laughs> no. Curiosity. Open mind. Dazzling. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Zane or Spaceman, it's so vast. Uh, dude actually has scientists on his pod along with everyone else. What a legend, I know. It's a bloody fun podcast. I, I enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna use something called Clean Shot X, which is just like a nicer. Jeez. It's like a nicer screenshot tool. I can just drag and drop. Oh god. Ah. What's happening? What's happening? So now I can just sort of put this in as a kind of placeholder for what I'm wanting here. We're going to make it a lot different. Come over to here. Take a little old screenshot of old mate. Then I can do what I did here. And this might be reference. I might paint these, but just use it as reference. Or I'll just use the 3D render depending on time and if I can be bothered. Maybe I'll change the. That actually shows it pretty clearly. I actually want this animated as well, so yeah, maybe I'll keep it as this DD because then I can like swap between them all, all moving about the place. That would be pretty cool. Right? These are just placeholders for now. The ideas down. Nothing set in stone. Ben, I can see one of your signature future products being an app that helps artists with 3D somehow. I know there are products out there, but one with more staples that illustrators need. A plugin? That would be interesting. 
That would be very interesting. I wonder. I wonder. Ellarock12, hi, hello, welcome, great to have you. All right, so we've got Anatomy of Thing, we've got The Shapes of Wednesday, we've got an idea about some bounce light stuff. Let's group these so we don't do fiddly with things, with things. so. Let's just go bounce light. That's a heading. Then what else? We've got hair. Then we've got material in the box. The question is, do I want to keep working on this today? I don't know. I've got a good a good head start on this. Maybe I can crack open some blender, maybe? I mean, it's already open. Not, it's really just hop, skip and a jump and we're in, we're in sculpting room. Or we just do some like figure drawing or something different. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's try something different, all right? So this is where we're at with the, the sketch note. All right, so we got Anatomy of the Thing, Wednesday. And this is where they all start, basically, just as like really sort of high level ideas. This is gonna be the main image of Wednesday. All right, so she's gonna be here in some degree some respects to the... and then we've got to figure out the layout and we probably use some variation of what we're going to be finishing up here to sort of give some visual interest to get to hook the the viewers in to show that this is educational that you're going to hopefully learn something and just make it a little bit different than just like a rendered finished piece show that it's a sketch note maybe like a some indication of pointing that way to show that there's more something like again these are these are all just ideas nothing that's really set in stone copy paste thank you ah, no, 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 no. yeah we can figure it out all right good start good start everyone good job Uh, hello, I'm back. I was playing Aurora's video game. Should have been. You're bouncing around all over the place. Also, guys in chat, uh, Ben will be watching this show and he's excited to. I'm very excited to. Should have been, but I never said when I'm going to. CMG. All right, Ben, I'll be heading out. See you next time. Catch you later. Great to have you in the uh, stream today. Have a great uh, new year. If I don't see you before then, and again, really, really appreciate you popping in. All right, maybe we wind down. Let's let's wind down this stream with uh, with some figure drawing. I've got the I feel like I want to do some figure drawing. So let's crack open pure ref. Let's open or load. 
No, that's a different one. Load recent. No, that's a. Uh... Cool, got some figure stuff here. Zane, good job everyone, we helped Ben a lot. I oh, did, you can keep it interesting, right? Uh, can you do something sparkly, like very fun colours for this study, like Barbie? Probably not, I'm thinking more I want to work on line work. Or, to be honest, so... Maybe we'll just bounce around, play around with maybe some uh, clothing. Guten Morgen again! Welcome, drink! So, we got this skater guy that we were working on last stream. Let's get him out of the way. Got some cool muscles to, to study there. Get these renders out of the way. Maybe we can throw in some more interest eventually. So, let's see if we can uh, start playing and practice our figure drawing. So I'm gonna, gonna, gonna think about the gesture. Sugar beets, yes. Just men, no. Well, I guess that's all I've got here. Maybe we got, I'll, I've got, uh, I'll have some ladies. Good, good point. We need some variety. Just crack open Pinterest. It's a little bit tricky cracking open Pinterest live on stream because it's uh, it can get pretty not safe to work pretty quickly. Let's do. is that there we go no longer just all men all right so that's uh i'm gonna be a little bit rusty my figure drawing i think but we'll see that's not jinx myself please show your brush shedding so this is ahmed aldori's hard elliptical default whatever it was i think and then i might swap to uh, kyle's draw bro draw box happy hb and its default settings as well so, there you go i might even just do that photoshops kyle's draw box draw box happy hb yeah and maybe don't do it pure black just So let's just get started. Let's gesture. Gesture, gesture, gesture. This is super foreshortened, right? This is going back in space. I'm getting a little bit scribbly. I'm getting a little bit noodly, which isn't terrible, but I would like to think about the forms. Why am I why am I putting these shapes down? What's the purpose? Is this 
adding or subtracting from the from what I'm trying to achieve here. Drink. I'm studying to be an illustrator uh, on the internet. I draw all week, but there are like four days in the week where I manage to draw only two to three hours because either looking at other artworks and finding reference. Is it normal to spend like an hour or two looking at artworks? Yeah. I mean, what's normal? There's no rules for this stuff. Particularly if it's like active study and looking and trying to understand instead of just being like oh that's nice oh that's nice it's like huh okay really taking in other people's artwork I reckon that's pretty like underrated to be honest knock this back so we got a base level it's looking funky not in a good way. I'm gonna come down here and say, okay. Art wrestling, absolutely normal. Yeah. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. Sugar Beats, would you care if I made a YouTube video trying to draw in benevolent style? I haven't made a video in, video in a while because I just uh, overshare my brain. Go for it. Yeah. You have my blessing. Break it down. This is a fun part of this one. Lots going on. There's just like this one that's coming like towards us. Alright, so that's like it's like some fisheye action going on. So, and this has to balance out, right? So this should really he's got to hold his weight. Right? I'm pushing the pose a little bit. So then this has to make sense coming back this way. I wish we should do some like timed figure drawings.
Ed's in the way, we've got to kind of imagine where his hand's going to be as well. On the other side. I'll just be using your name for clickbait. Use it or go for it. Use it. You have my blessing. I see. I like to zoom to pixel and find out how things are done. Interesting. I would almost say you you could potentially get more out of not zooming in and looking at the bigger picture. There's not a whole lot that you can get out of zooming in here with like with this in particular, right? You can get a lot, or you can get at least how I'm thinking. More so. From back like this far, if that makes sense. Now, this is a tricky angle. I could even like Whip it around to see now it looks like he's hanging. Like, yeah, that's really cool. Let's see if this is all sort of making sense ish. This is like super rough. I don't feel like I've finished. Take this down again, and we can maybe do the old just a touch of smoothing and then see if we can like refine some of these shapes. I might even add shape dynamics a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, bold line design, do you go in depth on Blender in the course you're selling? Uh, no, I don't go into Blender at all in the course I'm selling. That's all 2D work. Um, but I'm thinking about creating a, a Blender one in, in 2023. How do you flip and pure it? Uh, hold down Option and Shift and just sort of slide back left and right. try and get these shapes more sort of dynamic. Find that kind of leading edge of the foot. Utilize some overlap so you got the the here I'm even trying to just simplify down the two you got line bump bump line bump bump group if we want like with those like that we can just indicate Let's 
most of the transfer was in Like that, I'm trying to look for indications and in where I can prove. Oh, it's almost like I'm trying to prove that this is 3D. Right? How can I prove that this is 3D? Well, I've got this cylinder looking shape here, and I can prove how do I prove that this leg is going back this way in space? All right, well, I can prove, I can sort of make my case with this curve here going back in space. I can kind of then make the, the foot is going to be smaller. Right, so we're trying to sell stuff. We're trying to prove to the viewer that this is what's happened. Oh, give me two seconds. I've turned the bloody aircon on and I'm uh, freezing my buddy. Whatever's off. I'll be back. Uh, my lines were getting bloody shaky because I was getting the shivers. It's freaking hot outside there. So you only recently heard of JC, uh, JC Linebacker. Oh my goodness, are you in for a treat? Uh, Ronnie, Ben, question, since I learn a lot from you, is it okay if I copy your style? Yeah, do it to learn, learn, copy away, break it down. Make it your own, you know? Thank you. 
drink water is it hard to be as attentive as you normally are during stream as well or when people are looking at you draw it's something that i had to i'm still getting used to really um, i've got to let go of the idea of having to make something look good fast because that was stressing me out for a little while i was like oh, i just gotta make it the thing look good yes it looks good when it looks good Um, definitely takes longer to do things because I'm sort of stopping, starting, and um, uh, doing that sort of stuff. But I can also use that to my advantage of doing a bit of content or creating content of work that I'm already going to be doing. So I'm kind of growing the YouTube channel passively in a way because I'm already going to be doing this work. So just trying to be a bit smarter about it. So tiny <laughs> with the screen, with the green screen. Oh god. Oh, why can't I move me? There we go. Tiny me. Looking at old mate buddy upside down. How's that? Special effects. So let's just throw the fingers in, go bam, bam, bam. That'll do. All right, next one. shortening you really need shapes and forms and the brain does automatically recognize it versus a figure standing straight on yeah it's all, all an illusion uh, Ben when you get a chance in your description it's Ahmed not Ahmed ah oh, bloody auto correct Amen. Amen Aldori. Thanks for that. Thanks for letting me know. Amen. Uh, does the pay tutorial go deep? Uh, bold line. Does the pay tutorial go deep in using Blender to mock up the scene and pose? It doesn't use Blender at all. 
It doesn't. It, it has Blender files um, for sort of study tools in the 3D. Like so, so I I sculpted up a few of the key um, forms for the character that uh, I go through in the in the tutorial to help with sort of understanding the forms better. But I, it doesn't go into Blender whatsoever. Uh, Sugar Beast, can't wait for this one. I feel like it's going to come out really good. Oh, I know you're giving me pressure. I'm trying to, yeah, figure out the ground plane. Get the, get the head. There's a little bit of a tilt to the head. Just see if I can sort of get some landmarks going. Thumb guns, have you studied proportions or gesture um, more by the way? Have you studied proportions or gesture more? Probably gesture. Um, or no, they're both kind of one and the same, right? Because even at the gesture stage, if I just do like a big head like this, all right? I mean, that proportion is off. Right? It could be stylized, it could look like, it almost looks like a Fortnite character with like, I don't know, like bunny ears or something, you know what I mean? But if we're trying to get proportions here, then you, you, you've always got to be sort of going back and forth and analyzing the shapes. Shane, don't worry, he's been given the nickname Armin before. <laughs> Ishanch, hello, welcome. Big head is hot. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do it after I've uh, done the, the more human proportion one. But here I'm seeing a cylinder, right, of the, of the body. sort of inform our decisions. Use the belly button to find the center line. And this is a good indication, right? This is a really, really interesting one with I think what we were talking about before very briefly, which is the simple versus complex side. All right, so I can literally just go, Shoop. there's that indication of the arm and then we can come through and put the rest in and it still sort of reads in a way.
uh, I guess new characters of this these study. That'll, that'll be fun. So even here, right? Even this, like, I'm thinking about the how the head is ever so slightly turned. It's not like bang on in the middle, like looking at the camera. You can see that you can see more of this side of the cheek than this side, right? So that um, I'm taking that into account. So in that case, you'll see more of the hair on this side than this side as well. And that can just turn, you can, all, you can already see ever so slightly that the head's sort of turned just with uh, a few of those indications. So again, I'm trying to build the case for convincing someone that this is three dimensional. with the 3000 IQ thinks of the big picture proportions with perspective, uh, shape, form, light, edges, all at once. <laughs> uh, definitely not all at once, but there, there's a consideration at different stages of the piece of, of most of those things. guns I got a critique recently and it seems I need to draw uh, a see it seems I tend to draw uh, arms too far away from torso especially on females slash breasted people that's okay that's that's fantastic because you recognize that you you've recognized that there's an issue there now the the plan of action is to uh, to fix it and be more conscious of it next time that you're that you're painting that you're painting or drawing. All right? I, I do the same. Sometimes I draw draw the arms too short, which I think I've done here. Sometimes I draw them too long. Oftentimes I draw things like limbs a little bit too long because I was I think it was even Steve Houston that was saying this as well. Like we'll draw what we're used to seeing. So with myself, I've got long limbs. Right? I'm six four. So I'm used to having like long legs, long arms, and it's what I'm used to seeing in the mirror. It's, and then you tend to sort of draw that, that way. So it's just really being conscious of it. And that's fantastic. That's a, that's a positive. It shouldn't be a negative whatsoever. This one's fun. I like how this is. This is turning out. It's not a hundred percent sort of bang on to the reference, but I'm learning the the forms. Like here, there's a there's a form and a crease here. This is in front of that. That crease. This is in front of that like those intersecting lines. I need to use that.
mean, I can see even see like a box here. Right, okay. Groundwork here, we might not even need a reference, right? Because we know that all these shapes, like this knee or this leg, is coming towards us. So is this, it's foreshortened. Cool, on to the next one. process is one concept at a time uh, it's looking good already thank you so much uh, love the pose yeah it's a good pose lots of uh, possibilities so my problem uh, is I always want to post right away and not take my time on pieces but it depends on your goals it's, is it a problem is it not I don't know <laughs> Girls are not hostage in my city when they are free, what you mean? <laughs> uh, funny. Yep, spam city now. Uh, let's, let's do another. Let's try old mate here. Uh, what shapes do you think of breasts as when drawing them? I'm thinking spheres maybe, but a closed uh, shape leads to limited gesture. So I'm thinking really about how they, I'm thinking about the underlying structure and rib cage first, right? Then I'm thinking of them as like organic forms. I'm not thinking of them as like spheres that are sitting on top of something. They're, they're gonna be wrapping around the form of that, of that rib cage, right? No. They're going to be different depending on the model but then i like to just indicate the three dimensions of where like from a sphere's perspective where they'll be sort of positioned in 3d space as well so that helps me but first having the structure underneath helps me place them Mr. Houston with the knowledge, yeah, I had a theory artist put some of uh, themselves in their art. I can always see a parallel when I see an artist and their art, yeah. Drink water, tear dropping spheres. Yeah, I mean, but it depends on the, like putting a shape on anything or like a consistent shape on something like breasts should be drawn like this, heads should be drawn like this, shoulders should be drawn like this. I, I think it's kind of, I don't know. I don't like to think of it like that because it, what, a, what if it's in a uh, a really weird angle, right? Then those, that sort of box that you're thinking of or how, what you've put that object or that feature into, you're like, oh shit, now I don't know how to draw that because it doesn't look like a teardrop or it doesn't look like a, a, an elongated box or something like that. So it's really on a case by case basis when we're doing this figure drawing stuff. Whatever it is, I'm trying to think about it in three dimensions, as well as like overlap. What's in front of what? This here, there's not such a super, 
like definition underneath the breast here, but it's going to be in front of this root cage. Or this like torso, right? By the way, we should uh, free the women in our city. Women should not be held captive, that is very true. Uh, this is in relation to the spam for anyone that's popping in now. Uh, you can also color her clothes uh, pink because why not? We're just doing figure uh, line work at the moment, sugar beats. Um, Zane, that's got to be what that commenter was saying with the free girls in your city. Joker Sire, hello, do you have any tips on capturing likeness in portraits better? I'm bad at it. I do have a lot, um, but it's a little bit off topic of what we're doing at the moment. Uh, but a quick tip would be to focus on the head shape. Getting the head shape right to begin with. That's uh, a tip that I found really useful. Alright, so let's block this guy in. So he's got that really square jaw. Let's throw, just throw that down. Let's not get too caught up in the details to begin with. So there's a lot of overlapping stuff happening here that we've got to be cognizant of.
Sorry, chat, I've just been in the zone. Figuring out these forms. It's very easy to get carried away with these forms and just get all wiggly with them. They're very bumpy. I'm back, I'm back. Uh, Hades PSD, well I have to check him out for the caricature stuff. Oh, the likeness stuff, sorry. So you're gonna stay up late, Sugar Beats? Uh, shape I read in a book to think of them uh, is teacups. Oh, breath. Okay, here. Yeah. Logo. Do you know uh, Annie's Kapoor, the great uh, sculpture artist? He is also Indian. No, I don't actually. Uh, thanks, Ben. So only apply 3D shapes to rigid forms like skeleton, then wrap the mass around it like thinking of gravity yeah well everything's a 3d form right so it's just how they react to, to gravity and even hair and that kind of stuff is gonna it's still a 3d form but it's gonna react differently um so for me i'd, I'd say do a bunch of studies to uh get familiar with how uh or sort of what parts you want to Want to get better at drawing or understanding. If 
you have siblings, are any of them also creative? I've got a sister and she's very creative. Yep, she's uh, she's a very creative individual. She does all sorts of stuff. She does dance, she can draw, she does, yeah. Lots of stuff. Far out. I've, uh, I've been missing some of these. Uh, then you may want to try uh, this too. I've been doing reference studies, then rotating the figure in perspective one to two different camera angles per ref. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a really good uh, practice. Saying, Ben, please bestow mod privileges on someone so they can delete spam. Yeah, no, I should. Do you go super in depth into Blender in the paid tutorial? I don't, not at all. Um, I reported the spam and it disappeared. Is it still viewable for others? Uh, drink water. I feel embarrassed telling someone what artists I really, really like. It almost feels like I share something intimate and uh, I'm going to look inside my soul now. Yeah, I don't know. That's on, that, that's on you, really. <laughs> like, for me, it doesn't bother me. It's my influences. It doesn't. It is what it is. Then you got to exaggerate forms like Shime. I'd have to check him out. Who here else struggles with hands? Me sometimes. Um, Dazzling, who doesn't accept? A thinner artist. Two 500 hand almond challenge. And you'll be surprised you're still stuck at hands. I wonder if animating hands would help uh, much more to improve. I think, I think so. Because you have to get the, the forms reading correctly. You'd have to have the hands drawn correctly. It just sort of forces you. I think more so deliberate practice and focus practice is almost as good if not as different than just doing 500 hands you'll get better with 500 hands but i wonder how faster you could get better with 500 deliberate practice hands not just picking them off as a number to say oh, okay i've done number 267 but more so having really thinking about what you're doing Instead of just trying to hit some arbitrary number. Let's knock this guy back because this is an interesting one. There's lots of overlapping shapes here. Let's actually cut him out. Let's knock him back and see if we can even. learn a little bit more See a lot of uh, indie names here want to meet in uh, Evelyn server I am spaghetti <laughs> uh, I request uh, please search about uh, Anish Kapoor after your stream yeah I'll see how I go Jason uh, hi Ben have you ever encountered posture issues while drawing on screen tablet I've read many comments talking about neck and back pain I'm thinking to get myself a Cintiq or Huion canvas yeah well, at the moment I'm looking at my desktop and using the 
down here, so I'm looking straight ahead. That seems to, but I've never used a big drawing canvas before, or like a, a big drawing tablet. So that's uh, that's something to take into account as well. But this seems better for my posture. This pose almost gives me line decker vibes. In a way like this model even. There's even subtleties here, right? You've got this trapezius muscle. It's gonna come down here. Right? This deltoid is ever so slightly sort of gonna be in front of that trapezius muscle.
next thing I like to do here is try and figure out where the bones are, right? So you've got the bones of the wrist here, so that's going to be the ulna. So that's going to be hard. That's not going to bend. Right? You can see that actually follow through down into the elbow here. Right, so that's a, that's a stiff part. There's, there's also here that bone is going to be straight. But then you've got the muscle coming off of the bone and it sort of then comes and wraps back in and connects through. So then that can give you the that sort of curvy shape of the arm, let's say. But it still has some structure. All right, sorry, I'm out. I'm coming out of the zone and I'm back in chat. Uh, Dwarkesh, hey Ben, I'll be uploading a study art, uh, 2D and 3D both on Discord in a day or two. It'd be great if you could uh, drop a note. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Um, just remind me if I if I do forget. Um, sun guns, yeah, I see that. I is it angle features definitely line decker vibes. Also, Steve Houston vibes, yeah, definitely because he's very boxer boxer like. Um, the references of the fighter looks like he's breathing out. How would you draw that? Uh, I guess because he's. But it would be a bit of both. A lot of it would come from the mouth, right? I've got a little bit of it here. This is almost like half, like not comparing myself to Steve Houston by any means or Lion Decker at all, but it's got like the vibes of Steve Houston. Some of the shapes of Lion Decker a little bit. It's almost got a little bit of Disney vibes as well in the face, which is cool because it's, it's mixing and matching my, um, my influences, right? That's what it's all about. So I would almost... Uh, 
have his main assets, sort of. I don't know, something. Like that is not perfect, but I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time trying to get the mouth looking great. So not what the, the idea of the study is about. It's more figurative, but yeah, really, it's gonna be figuring out that center line of the mouth. The lips are going to be pushed out more, so this is going to be, if we think about the center line, that's going to be pushed out even more. Right. It's not the point uh, in the study. Uh, Devonta, Ben, how did you get so talented? Do you credit it to any sort of nat natural ability or complete skill and learning? Complete skill and learning, to be honest. Like, I spend a lot of time doing this stuff, right? I don't believe, I don't, I don't hold too much stock in talent. Um, it's it's how long and how focused you are with your study. I spent many many hours doing this, and it it's doable for everyone. I didn't come out of the womb knowing how to do any of this stuff, right? So there's for me, I think it, a lot of it has to do with ninety nine point nine nine percent is the, the the work that I've put in and that I'll continue to put in, you know? Drink. Ben was the child in life. As a child, a meteor struck in his backyard when he uh, he went looking and found a watch. Since then, he can transform into a 2D drawing alien god for 3D sculpting. <laughs> a Blenian alien. <laughs> uh, figure studies, yeah, that's what I'm focusing on. Uh, Zane, uh, catch you later, Zane. Great to have you, and I really appreciate the uh, super chat. Uh, that means a lot. Uh, Bravin, I think all talent is credited to hard work. Agreed, Bravin. Uh, great point, Ben. I loved your answer. Respect to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. But yeah, that's honestly where how I see it and how it how it is in reality. Right? Everything is doable. Every most everything is figure outable. And that's what's so exciting about this stuff about learning any skill. You get as good as the time that you put in. And there's definitely faster ways to do it as well. I could have sped up my, um, how would you say, my, my learning a lot by focusing on the the right things, I guess, and not wasting a bunch of time. But at that, but I wasn't ever super focused on getting good fast until I was. Until that was my focus. Uh, and until that was my focus. So it's sort of like hindsight. It's twenty twenty sort of thing. But yeah, that's a big part of why I'm also sharing stuff. Is if I can shortcut 
or just share some mistakes that I've made or some insights that I'm making as I go along my journey. Uh, and if it can help someone, it'd be fantastic. Someone just let off fireworks outside. 4.48 p.m. You're not gonna see bugger all of those fireworks. Gun guns. Uh, you think I came out of the womb drawing freaking my son? <laughs> uh, Zane. Catch you later, Zane. Um, Sugar, I told my friend to join this live stream. I don't know if he'll join. Sniff. Hopefully he will. If not, no worries. All right, moving on. Moving on. Let's just save this quickly. Yeah, study. Study 20, 22, um, 31st. I'll get you in Cool. On to the next one, shall we? Interesting pose. It's been an interesting one from a from a torso standpoint. Let's have a let's give it a whole whirl, shall we?
Now let's get a little bit more analytical. Let's figure out one key point I want to look out for is this. This is coming towards us. So I want to make sure that this goes back in space. Oh, first Photoshop one. There we go. Now we're back.
it's cool just to have a bit of change of pace. It's not super stylized, it's just discovery. All right, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What's weaving in front of one another? What's, what's in front, what's behind? Tulips in a twist And I boss like communist No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed But I'm that man they think you got the gist Got your tulips in a twist And I boss like communist No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed All right, I reckon I might uh, bounce in about five to ten minutes. Hey, Ben, greetings from Norway. I just saw your post that you have sculpted in Blender. What 3D knowledge do you have? I'm a little bit. A little bit. I've been sculpting for fun. Uh, well, this is all for fun, really, but um, in my spare time. Just doing a uh, bit and pieces here and there. Dazzling, how long is this live stream going to go for this time? About how long it's gone for up until now, and then maybe another five to ten minutes. I'm happy with this one. This one turned out cool. Maybe this is a, a potential painting. Uh, that could be. That could be fun. Twenty-four hours. <laughs> 
Maybe one day. Bravin, do you see yourself moving away from the whole grayscale to color process? Like direct colors start to finish? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like I, I was doing the direct colors for ages and then I was just trying the black and white for color and that was fun. And then I can go back to the, the straight up color um, painting process as well. There's really not much of a stress with that. Uh, 10 out of 10 on the sketch is appreciated, it should have beat. Love this one already, you're in a, a drawing zone, I can tell you. Yeah. When it comes to this stuff, it's very like, I don't know, for me, at least it's pretty mentally taxing. Because it's like, the decisions I'm making, I'm, I'm not just willy-nilly going like, um, um, here, um, I'm going, okay, what's connecting into what? What's, what forms are happening? This is going back in space here. All right, how's the face looking? So I'm looking at the TD, uh, the, the TD, the 2D forms. Another bloody fireworks in five o'clock in the afternoon. That's stupid. Um, and then I'm trying to get everything to read as like a 3D form, understanding what's in front, what's in behind. So it's very like, um, yeah, very mentally taxing, I guess. And that's why I go into like the zone. Um, Bravin, the state of flow has been achieved. Yeah. I was actually, time was just going. Sugar beets, yes. Uh, Adam, this is lovely. Appreciate it, Adam, thank you. Uh, sugar beets, oh, my friend joined. Uh, Thumbgun's gonna join the Discord. Awesome. Would be fantastic to have you. Uh, apt. Happy New Year, man. Uh, glad that you're streaming. Gonna follow the process when learning anatomy more. Fantastic. Uh, great to have you. Really, really glad to have you on stream. Uh, yes, welcome, Adam, to this uh, art YouTube human. Uh, Adam, so this artist here loves Wednesday and is going to watch it. Okay, here we go. Also, I type a lot on the chat, so I can be a bit annoying. You know, annoying to the beats. You're enthusiastic. That's what we'd like to see here. What can I be clear? See, I could just noodle on this stuff all day long. All right, so I'm fading. I reckon that'll uh, that'll do it for this this session. I'm happy with this one. I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. That was that was a fun one. Um, but thank you very much, everyone, for popping in, coming to keep me company, for um going through creating the sketch note in the beginning or the beginning of the sketch note in the beginning and uh yeah as always really really appreciate you guys popping in it uh it means a lot and it gives me a lot of motivation to sort of keep doing this stuff keep uh keep pushing in 2023 and uh, yeah look if i don't see you guys well i mean it's the 31st of december for me at 5 p.m. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing another stream between now and 2023. But, in case I don't see you before then, have a fantastic new year. Uh, stay safe, hope you have fun with friends and family. And uh, yeah, looking forward to a bunch of content, a bunch more streams, some more YouTube stuff and uh, yeah just more of a more fun more explanation exploration and uh more more sharing you can see i'm fading right now i'm uh i'm hooked these figure drawings take it out of me but uh anyway on that note i will head off happy new year everyone hope you have a fantastic day and or night and uh, I will see you in 2023.
in the new year. Alright, I'll stop chatting, I'm afraid. I need something to eat. Alright, catch ya.